Yesterday I made remarks in relation to another senator. I then had to withdraw them because the rules of the Senate do not allow you to speak about someone's character, only about something they have said. So today I will speak about my experience in Parliament. I experienced sexual comments and was inappropriately propositioned by powerful men. One man followed me and cornered me in a stairwell, and most of this was witnessed by staff and fellow members of parliament. No one witnessed what happened in the stairwell, as there are no cameras in stairwells. I know there are others that have experienced similar things and have not come forward in the interests of their careers and fear they would be presented to the world by the media in the same way that I have been today. There are different understandings of what amounts to sexual assault. What I experienced was being followed, aggressively propositioned and inappropriately touched. I was afraid to walk out of the office door. I would open the door slightly and check the coast was clear before stepping out. It was to the degree that I had to be accompanied by someone whenever I walked inside this building. That is how the Greens supported me and I thank them for that. To me, it was sexual assault and the government at the time recognised it as such. I did not make the incident public at the time because it was during the time Brittany Higgins had made her experience in this building public. I did not want to have anything taken away from Brittany's experience and her bravery in coming forward. I believe that was the right decision. My faith in the Liberal Party was not the right decision. Until yesterday, I thought they had taken this matter seriously. But then yesterday I had to listen to a senator who has made me feel unsafe speak on how important it is to keep women safe in parliament. Silence is violence. And yesterday I could not stay silent. As someone who has knowingly made me feel unsafe had the gall to stand up in front of parliament and preach about protecting women. This was not an isolated incident, and there are others I could name who have inappropriately touched me, invaded my space and knowingly made me feel unsafe. 